yeah, no, I, I treasure the days I was there. I felt like I was really around a real elite group of people in a place with so much history. And in America, there's not many buildings that are, or universities that are that old, and you go there, and I was, yeah. Well, you know, at, well, time. that hits a point that's interesting, because I remember when I first went there, I, I got involved, I've always been political, but I got involved in the Graduate Student Council for some reason that I can, I have no idea why I did. But, but early on, uh, the first day when you're graduate student, there was some orientation, and, and the, the, then the president of the Graduate Student Council came and spoke and, and said something really interesting, because he said, so you all felt like hot shit before you, before you and I can use that word, I hope, on your program. Yes. But uh, uh, when you, because there are all these kids who are the best in their classes or whatever and come to graduate school, and then they suddenly feel worthless. And he said, you're going to feel worthless and incompetent for the next four years, but there's, l there's light at the end of the tunnel. After you, after you graduate, it'll be okay again. And that's, that was really the experience of coming in and, and feeling good about yourself and then beginning to feel bad about yourself for four or five years until you got out. And uh, so it's, it's a hard time. To watch the rest of this fascinating interview, click on the link below and go to LondonRealAcademy.com. There you can sign in with your social media login and watch the rest of the episode for free, along with all of our episodes on London Real, my webinars, and all of our premium content, all located over at LondonRealAcademy.com. So click on the link below, you'll be directed there and you can watch the rest of this fascinating interview, and I'll see you there.